Here's a quick review of uh, the patch we looked at in class today. This is uh, the modulators patch. Uh, the cycle tilde object is a sine wave. You can see it right here. The triangle is a triangle wave. This creates a square wave. Um, these are just uh, audio signals. In this case, the sine wave goes from 0 up to 1, down to negative 1, and back to 0. That is one period of its oscillation. And that it's doing this right now at a rate of 100 times per second, 100 hertz. Uh, the left input controls the frequency. You don't see a change here, but in this case we're changing from 200 down to 100, etc. Um, the triangle wave does the same thing, but instead of kind of going up, up and down smoothly, as you see here, it just wraps up linearly up to 1, down to negative 1, back to 0, 1, 0, negative 1, etc. Uh, the square or rectangle wave stays at, at uh, 0 0.5 actually for a little while, and then suddenly it moves down to negative 0.5 and then back up to 0.5 and then back down to negative 0.5 okay so this is the sudden uh, changes in the in the signal uh, what we're interested in is using signals to modulate different numbers in max we looked at we briefly looked at frequency modulation where we have uh, this cycle object going at one hertz one times per second uh, and so again it goes between negative one and one It'll start at 0, go up to 1, go down and get negative 1, and go back to 0. And it will do this one time every second. You can see it working right here. And what we're then doing is scaling that. Instead of going between negative 1 and 1, we want to change the amplitude of that to be between 100 and 700. And we're going to use this signal. Instead of using cycle to basically create either a uh, an audible frequency, a sine wave, or uh, anything else that we would normally use it for. What we're going to be doing is using this cycle object, scaling it up to go cycle between these numbers, and then using that to control the frequency of this cycle object. Okay, this is the one that we're going to be hearing, and the frequency, as you can see, is being modulated up and down. So changing the lower number will change the lower limit right here. Now it's modulated between 300 and 700, between 300 and 500. You can see it right here in this uh, sonogram. This is, uh, which object is this? Spectroscope object. It allows you to see frequency changes over time. Okay. And notice how when DSP is off, nothing happens. Again, because uh, signals only work when DSP is on. And in this case, we're slowing down the rate of modulation. So you have basically a few parameters here. This is the rate at which it modulates between this low and this high. Okay? And then that's being used to control the frequency of this cycle object. This is called frequency modulation. Amplitude modulation is the same premise, but instead of modulating from a low pitch to a high pitch, it modulates from a low volume to a high volume. So again, the this is the modulating frequency. Uh, it currently has an argument of one, so one hertz, one cycle per second. Uh, and again, it's going between 0 up to 1, back to 0, down to negative 1, and then back to 0. That's one full period, one full cycle. Um, and we want to scale that instead of being between negative 1 and 1, we want that to be between 0 and 1. This 0 and 1 is how Max understands the amplitude or the volume of a particular signal. Uh, and we can change the volume of a signal by multiplying two signals. So this multiplication, or asterisk tilde object, is multiplying whatever's coming in here by whatever's coming in here. Um, so if we were to replace this with a float object, currently our volume's at 0. Our volume's at 0 0.06. a little bit with sudden volume changes. When you go above one, things begin to distort, and the signal gets uh, distorted and clips, and you don't no longer get a clean sine wave. So really, these should always be between zero and one. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to cycle between zero and one. So 
you don't have to be clicking and moving this on your own. This is called amplitude modulation. All it's doing is changing the amplitude or the volume of this particular um, sine wave. In this case, the frequency is currently at 220. But it, again, it's independent of frequency. Uh, if you were to raise this, you get modulation at a higher rate, three times, four times, whatever times per second. And if you go into the audible range, then the actual change in volume itself becomes a f an audible frequency. Uh, and then you get some in different tones. We'll look at that in a little bit more detail as the semester progresses. So just a quick overview of really what's going on uh, in these patches. Take time to dig in. I would also recommend you go up to the help references. Um, if you go home here in MSP tutorials, um, take a look at the MSP introduction how digital audio works and how MSP works. These three are really, really helpful, uh, especially this one, how digital audio works. It's going to let you wrap your head around some of the nuance and some of the details of what we're doing here. Take some time, dig into that, play around with this. If you want to download the uh, 006 patch, it's on Canvas, and you can start looking at ways to um, connect these um, modulating frequencies to the um, playlist object patch that we were working on last week. Enjoy.